continuing on, if I look at y equal x squared, so let's say that's 1, 2, 1, 2, y equal x squared, y equal radical x. So we're looking at this area. And here you have a couple of options. If you run vertically, then you would say area equal the integral from 0. In this case, you're supposed to set those equal to each other, but this is simple enough to 1. And I'm running vertically. That means it's a dx. And the top would be the red minus the bottom would be the function. Or, or I could say area equal the integral. I could run this sideways. So that's a delta y dy from y equals 0 to y equal 1. And in this case, I'm going to run right minus left right it is y equal x squared or x equal plus or minus radical y since x is in the quadrant one it's running from the right radical y minus and the left the red it is y equal radical x so x equal y squared those two will give you the same area i'm giving you both options on every problem so both of those are fine, and both of those will find you the desired area. If I use the line y equal x, and again, let's make those 1, 2, 1, 2. And y equal radical x. Same deal happens. If I run my rectangle vertical, then I'm saying area is in terms of dx. That's why it's crucial to choose. The top would be the blue, which is radical x, minus the bottom in this case will be the line. And that's going to run from 0 to 1. Again, normally you set those equal to each other and you solve. Or I could run my rectangles sideways. Again, make sure that the right side is always the red, if that's the case. So here you have a choice always in these cases. You have a choice in every problem, but sometimes it's easier to go one direction than the other. So now if I take the right, right would be the red. The red is, so y equal x, that's simple because x equal y minus. But the left, when you say y equal radical x, that means x equal y squared and that's from y equals 0 to y equal 1. The next problem if x equal 2 y equal 2 so we're talking about this region. So you always want an area that's bounded. You know, if it's unbounded, then there's no area. It's infinite. In this case, I would say area equal. It would be much easier for me to run this vertically. Why is that? Because red is always the top. So from y equal, so uh, from x, so, so that's from x equal negative 2 to 2. Again, you're supposed to set those equal to each other and solve x squared minus 2 equal 2, x squared equal 4, x equal plus or minus 2. So from negative 2 to 2, the top is the red. The red is y equal 2 minus. The bottom is the curve. Make sure to use parentheses. And there's that area. I don't know why I squished them so much. Now, I could go sideways, but you're not going to like it, but I'm going to do it anyways. It's not recommended, but all good. You could say, you know what? I want my rectangles to go sideways. That's fine. Theoretically, you could do every problem that way. 
and that's from <coughs> y equal negative 2 to y equal 2. It's just a coincidence they match. I don't like that idea. And they've been matching on almost every problem up to now. That's not what we wanted. I want to show you some other way. Okay. So it's not as simple as you switching the limits. It just happened to be because all the problems in this section are really straightforward. But maybe I should have changed that slightly. So the right side. Now, if you have y equal x squared minus 2 and you want to solve for x. Again, not recommended. Well, wouldn't the right side be negative? Uh, right minus left. What on the right side be positive the square root of y minus 2? Minus the left. Isn't the left the square root of y minus 2? But it's negative, right? So there it is. You could do that if you wish. Not recommended x equal radical y so 1y equal 1 x equal 1 1y equal 4 x equal 2 y equal negative x and y equal 1 oh boy going to be very small. Let me change the okay, x equal y 0, 0, 1, 1 x equal negative y And y equal 1. Uh, let me use a different color. y equal 1. They're talking about this region. I have a couple of options. Option 1 is the simpler, and that is, if I glance at this carefully, I notice that if I run sideways, The right side is always the red, so this in terms of y, I need to solve for x equal. The red is radical y minus the left. The left is always the line, and x equal, so right minus left, and that's from y equal 0 to y equal 1, done deal. If I decided to do this vertically, do you see the issue? The issue is... If I run vertically, I notice from this point, from negative 1 to 0, the top is the green. <coughs> and the green is 1 minus the bottom. The bottom is, if x equal negative y, that means y equal negative x. But that's only half of it. That's down to this. Plus from 0 to 1. Notice the top is still the green. But the bottom now is the red. And if it is x equal y, that means y equal x squared. And those two will give you the same area. If you want to run it vertically, you're going to do two double integrals. Which is not really the way to go. Normally, we want to do this as simple as possible. So again, I'm showing you how to do every problem both ways. You only have to do it one way. And one way is always easier than another. So let's go over this problem again. If I had an option of how to set up the integral. So setting up the integral is what I'm doing. y equal x.
y equal 2 minus x <coughs> there and here they want the x-axis here they're talking about this region since I'm doing the same problem twice no need to reinvent the wheel there here we're talking about this region so do you agree here it would be easier for me if I want to do the least work to run horizontally why is that because the right side is always the red so that's from y equals 0 to y equal 1 and we're running from the red so x equal if y equal 2 minus x that means x equal 2 minus y the reason those are switching because they're linear so the right minus the left <coughs> and the left in this case is y equal x or x equal y that will find you the area that you want if you run vertically again you could but then you need two double angles why is that because i notice here top is the blue bottom is the red from zero to one so top is the blue the blue is y equal x minus the bottom is zero plus when i run from one to two I notice here that top is the red the red is y equal 2 minus x minus 0 again you don't need to write the minus 0 but those two will give you that will give you the area and that will give you the area and if I was to go to the same problem and just to show you that how a simple it just a simple change will make a massive difference I want the same thing y equal x y equal 2 minus x but I want it with the y-axis this is the region we're talking about so you got to be really careful with which portion you're talking about well in this case again I have two options the nicer option or the simpler option would be to run vertically why is that because on the interval between 0 and 1 I notice that top is always the red and bottom is always the blue done so if you integrate 2 minus 2x you'll get that area if you want to run horizontally you can not recommend it but you need two of those why is that because you notice from top to bottom if you start from 0 to 1 the right side is the line and that is of course if that's dy that's x equal y minus 0 and when you get from 1 to 2 you'll notice that the right side is always the red and that is x equal 2 minus y minus 0 again those two will get you the same exact area so you only have to do this once if on the exam I say setup do not solve I just want the integral one of those will do either one either you give me the top integral or the bottom two that will find me that area and that's pretty much it for this area business